Hey, what's up? I'm Dominique. Today, I'm going to be doing my makeup using some of the best clean makeup products at Sephora. Clean makeup is simply makeup that's non-toxic, meaning that these products are created without harmful chemicals and ingredients. So if you're a clean beauty girly, you're definitely gonna wanna stick around and watch this video because these clean beauty products are some of the best ones on the market. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Clean beauty for the win, am I right? So all of the makeup that I have sitting in front of me is meant for my base makeup. I for some reason do not have a clean eyeshadow palette, which is weird, but I don't. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyes off camera because I always do them first and I'll be right back. And yes, I do my eyes first because I hate when eyeshadow fallout gets onto my foundation if I do my foundation first. So I just do my eyes first to avoid all that fallout. So first step in my base routine is always primer. And today I'm going to be using a super nice clean primer and this is Refi the Glow and Sculpt Face Primer. And this is a wonderful clean primer that's really gonna give your skin a beautiful glow. This is a really interesting primer to begin with because it does have a roller as an applicator, which is super innovative and super cool actually because there's nothing like this on the market. So all you do is you squeeze it out of the tube and then you roll it directly on the skin. The formula in this is also super nice because it does have niacinamide, so it's super hydrating. And it's also vegan and cruelty free, of course. You don't wanna use too much of this on your skin because too much could cause those pilling beads underneath your foundation and then let it soak into your skin and let it completely dry down before applying your foundation on top and as it starts to dry down it does get a little bit tacky so you know it's gonna do a really good job of gripping that foundation and making it last all day long and plus now my skin feels so hydrated and it has a nice glow to it so it's definitely ready for foundation and you can pick up this primer for $34 so now it's time for foundation and of course I have to use one that is my all-time favorite and it's a clean foundation so that makes it even better. This is the House Labs Triclone Skin Tech Foundation. This right here is one of my number one favorite foundations of all time. And plus it's clean, what could be better than that? And when you apply your foundation to your skin, I always recommend starting off with one pump on the back of your hand and then going in with a brush and applying it directly onto your skin and see how much you could get this one pump of foundation to cover your entire face. The less product that you apply to your skin means the less cakey that it's gonna look. And if you're worried about coverage, just make sure that you get a foundation that has a lot of coverage to it. Because if a foundation does have nice coverage to it, you shouldn't need to use a lot to make it have that coverage. It should be right off the bat full coverage. Now this foundation specifically is one of my favorites because of how good and hydrating it looks on the skin. It has a beautiful medium coverage, and to me it never looks cakey. This foundation simply looks like my skin, but even better. And this foundation would be great for any skin type, dry, combo, oily. And then after I apply my foundation with the brush, I always go in with a little beauty sponge and then I tap the foundation into my skin and this is really gonna help melt the foundation into my skin and look as natural as possible. I cannot skip this step when I'm doing my makeup. It really is a game changer because it makes your makeup look so smooth. And even throughout the day, this foundation looks wonderful. It doesn't really crease and it never separates. And you can pick up this foundation for $45. Up next for concealer, I'm going to be using the LYS Beauty Triple Fix Brightening Concealer. List Beauty is a clean brand that you can find at Sephora and their products are all affordably priced for being high-end products. In this concealer I have the shade LN6 and in the House Labs foundation I forgot to mention I'm wearing the shade 250 light medium neutral. So this is a full coverage concealer that feels very lightweight just like a serum and it also does a great job of brightening the under eyes as well and it definitely does have a natural finish to it so it's not too matte and it's not too glowy. I love it because even though it is a full coverage concealer it feels so super thin and lightweight and hydrating, which is exactly how I like my concealers to be because I love a lot of coverage in my concealers, but I also want them to be hydrating. I'm also a dry skin queen, so I love me some hydrating makeup. And I feel like it also does a great job of not creasing throughout the day and wearing beautifully. And you can pick up this concealer for $19. What a steal for an amazing clean concealer. So now I'm going to apply the little milk contour stick, and I like to apply the product from any stick cream product with a brush. So I'm just gonna pick up a little of the product onto the brush and then I'm gonna go in and apply it directly to my skin. And applying it this way is going to give it the smoothest application to the skin because I didn't draw a very harsh line onto my skin and then try to blend it out. I simply started off with a blank canvas and as soon as the product hit my cheek, it was already being blended out because I applied it with a brush. Definitely the way to go if you want the most natural application. And I know it's annoying because it's not as easy and quick as drawing it onto your skin, but it definitely looks better this way, in my opinion, of 
of course. It's also a very creamy and blendable product, and the shades are a little bit more on the cool toned side, so if you're looking for a true contour stick, this is the way to go. And all in all, this is a really wonderful product because it is just so good in the formula, and it's just creamy and blendable and good. You really can't go wrong with this one. And plus, Milk is a clean brand, of course, so you know you're gonna get a really nice, clean contour stick. It does have the tiniest bit of a glow in the formula, so it leaves your skin looking so hydrated and radiant. I'm telling you, this is a really good place to start if you're looking for a cream contour stick. I think you'll really like this contour stick. It's a really good one. And plus, this product even won the Allure Best of Beauty Award this year for 2023. You know when a product wins an Allure Best of Beauty Award that it's gonna be good. And it retails for $24. For a little bit of color on the cheek, I have the Ilia Multi Stick in the shade Tenderly. Ilia is a wonderful brand if you're looking for really minimalistic, clean makeup because their formulas are super natural and the products are catered for that wonderful, natural look. So if you're into that, definitely go ahead and check out Ilia because they have tons of great, wonderful, clean products. But anyway, I've never tried out this Ilia Multi Stick before because the brand Ilia isn't really for me. Like, I'm not their target customer because I love me some good, full coverage products and Ilia simply isn't that. So today, I'm going to give you my first impressions of this Multi Stick as someone who loves a good, full coverage beat. So I'm gonna apply it the exact same way that I applied the contour stick. I'm gonna pick up a little of the product on the brush and then I'm gonna dab it onto the cheeks. And I have to say right off the bat, it is looking so cute. That's really cute, actually. There's definitely more pigment to this than I expected there to be, so I love that. But then again, at the same time, there's pigment to it, but it looks super natural. Now this wouldn't be my go-to blush stick because it is a little bit more on the natural side, but for a natural moment, I actually might love this. It's definitely buildable too, so you can build up the pigment to where you like it, but I am needing to go in with a lot to get it to how I like it. And the formula has a beautiful glow to it, so it just looks so nice and hydrating on the skin with a beautiful radiant finish. And honestly, I can't lie, I really like how it looks. I kind of feel bad for hating on Ilya for all these years because I was like, not for me. These products are too sheer. They're for the no makeup makeup girl. But I can see why the no makeup makeup girls love this because it's so good and very very easy to work with. I mean, look at how cute it looks on the skin. It looks so good. And I actually like this one. It's not my favorite, of course, but I like it. And if you've never used a cream blush stick before, try this one out first because you're gonna like it and it's super easy to use. And you can pick up this blush stick for $36. So now I'm gonna set my face with a little combination of two powders. I'm going to be using the LYS Beauty Translucent Setting Powder. This is a pressed translucent setting powder. Then I'm gonna go in with the House Labs Bio Blurring Loose Translucent Setting Powder. So with with the LYS Beauty Translucent Setting Powder, I'm just gonna set under my eyes with this because it is pressed. So it's really gonna give my skin a really nice smooth blur to it. I like this powder because it's not too drying at all. It's really soft and smooth under the eye and there's really no coverage to this powder so it is a true translucent setting powder. There are a few other shades of this powder as well if you're interested in that, but I'm just setting in all the areas that usually crease the most with this powder specifically. So it's really gonna lock those creams into place. Love this powder, super nice, it looks beautiful on the skin, and it helps make my makeup last all day long. And plus, it's affordable and clean, talc free and everything. And you can pick up this pressed translucent powder for $19. Now I'm a little bit extra because I'm using two powders, I mean, who needs to do this? So now with the loose translucent powder, I always like to set the rest of my face into place with this. And I take a fluffy powder brush, and I just lightly dab it all over my skin. This is going to apply the least amount of powder to my skin as possible because I don't want to look like I have a ton of powder on, you know? I just want to help make my makeup last all day and not transfer to anything and really just hold it in place. And I'm a powder girl, so I love to set my face with powder. You definitely can just skip this step if that's not for you. But baby, it's for me. So if you're in the market for a loose translucent setting powder that's talc-free and clean, definitely try this one out. It's beautiful, it's thin, lightweight, it's not too matte, and it's not too drying. It's definitely a wonderful option to try out. And you can pick up this powder for $38 and there's more shades to it as well. So now for a little extra warmth, I'm gonna go in with the House Labs Powder Bronzer. I have the shade Medium Level 5 in this. I use this powder bronzer all the time. I love it because it is the perfect shade of warmth on my skin. It's clean and talc free, so you know it has some good ingredients to it. And it really is just a wonderful powder bronzer. And it's not too sheer either, so I don't have to sit and build up the pigment forever, you know? It's just instantly pigmented right away. And the good thing about this is that it does blend out so nicely and it just looks so good on the skin, like airbrush. I mean, as you can see, it 
brought some nice warmth back to my skin after I applied the powder, so I love that. And I mean, you really can't go wrong with this powder bronzer because it's a wonderful matte powder bronzer that just blends and looks wonderful on the skin. And you can pick this up for $38. Okay, so this next product is really funny to me because this is like an OG product in my collection. And I don't really talk about it because it's like one of those products that I've just had forever and I love, love, love for so many years. And it's so dirty and so destroyed. And it's one of the first powder blushes that I really loved. So it's funny that I'm sharing this with you, but this is a classic in my collection. And it's a clean blush, so we love that. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush and I have the shade Captivating. It's so funny because I use this blush for years. My favorite shade out of the Tarte blushes is the shade Party. That one is the one that I specifically used for years and love the most. But this shade Captivating is definitely my second favorite. It's a really nice coral shade, so I think that it will go perfectly with this look. And I really love the formula of these blushes because they are so buildable and it blends out so nicely on the skin. So nicely pigmented as well. And you really cannot go wrong with this powder blush. It is really wonderful. I mean, it speaks for itself. It looks so good on the skin and it added color instantly to my skin. And as you know, I cannot forget the blush on the nose. And you can pick this up for $30. And now I'm just baking my face with the House Labs Loose Translucent Setting Powder because why? I'm extra, of course. And I always do this every single time I do my makeup. I just love how it makes the bronzer just look so much more clean. So I cannot forget this step. And it's also why I use a loose translucent setting powder so I can dip my sponge directly in there and pick up a lot so I can draw a thick line of powder and bake my face. And then I'm just gonna let this sit while I go ahead and do my eyebrows off camera. Oh, and my lower lash line. Don't forget the lower lash line. I've let this bake sit long enough on my face and so I'm just gonna dust it away with a big fluffy brush. And you see now my bronzer and blush just look so much more clean. So that's why I baked my face. But anyway, I did my eyebrows, my lower lash line, and my lip liner off camera, but now I'm back and I'm gonna finish up with the lip. So for the lip, this is another OG product that I cannot believe I'm sharing with you because I'm pretty sure this is one of the first lip products that I ever fell in love with because it is that good. And still to this day, I love it. So this is the Tardiest Lip Paint from Tarte. This is a super old product. <laughs> they don't even sell it at Sephora anymore. You literally have to buy it on Amazon. That is how ancient this product is. But it is so good and it's definitely worth checking it out on Amazon. And I know I said all products were supposed to be from Sephora. Well, this was once at Sephora. This is in the shade Birthday Suit. And many years ago, Tarte actually had a birthday gift at Sephora that featured a tiny bit of the party blush that I was talking about earlier in the video when I was doing my blush with the Tarte blush. And then they had a mini size of this exact lip paint. And that is what started my love for both the blush and the lip paint. But I'm telling you, that was years ago. I can't even imagine what year it was. Maybe like 2014? Yikes. Yeah, that was a long time ago. But anyway, so this product right here is a lip paint, meaning it goes on super full coverage, but it does transfer. It feels so nice and comfortable on the lips. And this shade specifically is just one that I love so much. It's like a pinky nude. And I'm just in love with this lip color. I think it's wonderful and I'm obsessed. So let's put it on. Oh, and I even forgot that I ordered one off of Amazon because that's how much I love it. And this is what it looks like in the box. And this is what it looks like brand new. In my opinion, I just think this is a lovely nude shade and I am seriously in love with it. I keep saying that, but this is too good. It feels extremely lightweight on the lips too. It's crazy. And it has a little bit of a minty flavor too. So that's such a nice little touch. And you can get this off of Amazon for like $15. So that's really cool. I mean, it's not sticky and it's not drying and it's not gloopy. It feels so comfortable. It feels like I don't even have anything on the lips. I'm not kidding. This is actually a really good product and I don't know why Tarte doesn't make it anymore or have it in Sephora at least because this right here is actually gorgeous. Definitely recommend. Now I'm just going to top it off with this Tower 28 Lip Jelly Shine on Gloss in the shade Chill, which is a clear gloss but with a hint of pink and I mean the babiest hint of pink. And I'm just going to do a little in the center and always remember to wipe off your clear gloss wands before you put it back into the jar if you don't want it to get all nasty and muddy. And this gloss right here is from Tower 28 and they are yet again another clean brand that has great beautiful products. This gloss is just wonderful how it feels on the lips. It's kind of like a medium consistency so it's not too thin and it's not thick at all. It has the perfect amount of shine to it and it smells just like vanilla birthday cake or like vanilla cookies. It's so good. I love it actually. And you really can't go wrong with this gloss because it is seriously gorgeous and it's not sticky or goopy or anything like that either. This one is about to make your lips look super juicy and like you have the juiciest lips. I'm telling you that right here. And this retails for $16 and there's a ton more shades to choose from as well. And here is today's final makeup look using some of the best clean makeup products on the market. 
market. I mean, you can't tell me that they did not slay this beat right now. So shout out to all these clean makeup products that I used in today's video. I've linked them all down in the description box for you, just in case you wanna go ahead and check any of them out. They're all right there for you in the description box. If you enjoyed today's video, you should definitely give it a big thumbs up because it really helps support me and the channel a lot. And then that way we can become besties. I love that for us. And if you've tried out any of these products that I used in today's video, you should definitely leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think of them. Did you love them as much as I do? Or am I just crazy? Definitely let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And if you love clean makeup and you're looking for some awesome clean makeup, I definitely recommend all of these products that I used in today's video because they are really amazing and I think that you're gonna love them if you decide to try them out. So thank you so much for being here and hanging out with me today. I had so much fun and I hope you did too. I will be back next week with a brand new video. And that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one. Oh, and P.S. Don't forget to subscribe so that we can become besties.